Hello and welcome to this session on Tableau. In this session, we will start with certain exercises which we will perform in Tableau in order to understand some basic concepts. Now, in order to learn Tableau, the basic first step is to import a sample data. So in our case, what we have done is we have imported a sample superstore, which is in Excel format a sample superstore.excel which has three worksheets in it orders people and returns so by importing this data into tableau first of all we will create relationships between these sheets in order to identify who all have placed orders and how many people have returned the orders we will do some analysis on the orders placed by certain set of people and order returned by certain set of people. Now, as we have imported uh, the sheet, we will make certain joins. So the first step is to drag the orders table, the order sheet on the relationship canvas here. Okay. And you can see the data, sample data, the first hundred rows over here. Okay, then now we need to create an inner join with people's table between order and people. Okay, so if you see, it has automatically detected the field names on which the inner join has to be created. So on the order side, you have region and on the right hand side which is the people data you have also a region okay so both these columns are common and that's how we have made a join between orders and people data so if i close this box and go and check the people's data open So see the region and the person, these two columns from the people table have now been joined with the orders table, right? So it means that these are the orders in a particular region, which has been placed by in this region. Let me show you the sample superstore Excel file. Now, this is the structure of the file. You have a sample list of transactions, basically the orders which are placed by customers across multiple regions, South, West of USA, South region, West region. Then you have a list of order IDs which have been returned. So basically, the order ID in the returns sheet matches with those orders in the orders table. And then you have the people uh, sheet in which you have region and a person associated with that region, the salesperson associated with that region. Okay. So basically when we are combining, joining orders with people, we are joining that which orders belongs to which region and who's the salesperson associated with it. So what we have done over here is we have made a inner join means all the orders should belong to particular region and that region is in the people's sheet. And then in the second step, now we will make a left join between returns and orders, not inner join. We'll make a left join between returns and orders and we will make a join using the order ID.
okay so just edit this click on left and select order id as the join column now what does left join means left join means is that consider all the orders from the orders table and only consider the orders from the returns table which have data means which are returned otherwise show null for the order ids which are not returned so if you see this is the these are the two columns from the returns table and these are null because this is relevant to the order ids which are not returned okay which has been accepted by the customer but these are the orders for which you see data in the returned and order id column it means that these have been returned now with these joins in place please save your uh, book and now we have our relations created in the uh, in the tableau now we are ready to create certain reports and extract certain kpis using this relationship model now we'll move to sheet 1 okay and first we will place state and person on the rows sheet okay then i'll go to my numbers and put the profit or the so per state per person how much profit i am making as a company okay this is my goal to check now sort by highest to lowest so california is giving me the maximum profit of 76381 then new york then washington so this is the sorted order in which i have listed my profit in descending order now i can also check what are the number of orders placed and check the distinct count so out of 120 out of the total orders of 127 okay so this is the number of total number of orders which have been returned for california is 127 it's 16 29 so the sorted order is as per the revenue as per the profit and this is the details of the orders which have been returned per state so if you see for connecticut for a kansas there are zero returns so you can also extract data table to refresh is orders and identify new rows using order date so as and when new data is being added you can refresh it now say extract and now you can save this information profit by state and click save so this is the extraction of this particular report which is possible in tableau so this is the first exercise which we have completed for reviewing and analyzing the profit per state highest to lowest and within that per state what are the number of orders which have been returned by all the customers the distinct count of order ids which have been returned now let's start our second exercise on creating calculated fields in tableau now in this exercise we will be doing certain 
activities like we will be creating a set to show the states which have more than 100 customers then we will be creating a calculated field to show an average sales per customer okay then we will create a calculated field to show the sales goals and then show emerging and developing state so these are the four kpis which we have to derive now the first thing we have our sample superstore data already imported and the relationships created inner join with people and left join with returns now we have our sheet 2 in which we will create the uh, states a list of states which has more than 100 customers so what we have to do is we have to click right click on the customer name and click create set okay now we have to give the name as states with 100 plus customers and then go to the condition tab select by field and then apply condition as count of customer name greater than equal to 100 and click ok now we have this set created states with 100 plus customers now to determine average sales by customer we have to now create a calculated field so go to the analysis and click on create calculate field okay now name it as average sales per customer and now we will say average we will use a okay so we are saying that per customer we are using a level of definition function include which means that per customer what is my average sales right we have already used a function aggregated function called average so we are saying per customer give me the total and then give me the average per customer so we're going to click ok now create another calculated field you can also create from here and name is as name it as sales goal now in this we are going to type the formula if minimum states with 100 plus customers equal to true then sum of sales into 1.3 else average sales per customer into 100 so we, we are saying that if the customer belongs to the set of states with 100 plus customers then the sales target should be 1.3 times the actual sales as of today else it should be 100 percent of the average sales per customer now let's create another calculated field which we call as emerging or developing state if distinct count of customer name is greater than equal to 100 then the state is tagged as developing state else it is called as emerging state
okay so we have now three calculated fields average sales per customer emerging or developing state and sales goals now we will use this in our reporting so we will drag sales goal under the columns and then i'll drop my state so now this is the state wise sales goal depending whether the state has 100 plus customers or not then add your customer name make the measure as count distinct and make it as discrete okay so if you see this we have the count of customers per state and the the sales goal for that particular state and now i'll put my sum of sales the total sales which i want per, which is there per state Now go to show me and select this particular chart bullet graph now to bring sales goals to column right click on the sales axis and select swap reference line fields now from the your left hand panel drag and drop emerging or developing state on the color panel okay so emerging state is the orange one and the developing state is the blue one and save the sheet as developing and the emerging states so if you see this it's an emerging state because its count is less than the customer count is less than 100 its sales goal is 57384 but the actual sales is 19511 okay So now this is a developing state, its count is greater than or equal to 100 and its sales goal and its sales is exactly the same, it matches. So that's why you are seeing the bar and the blue bar is ending exactly where the vertical bar is. So what we are trying to depict is that whether the uh, state is going beyond its target sales goal or it's behind it and you can see that using this particular vertical bar like for example michigan its sales goal is 71952 but its actual sales is 76270 average sales so that's why it is be above its target and it's a developing state because it has more than 100 customers so you can even sort by the count of the uh, customers higher to lower so all your developing state will group from at the top and the emerging states will group at the bottom or you can sort by the sales goal So the orange bar is the sales goal or the blue bar so depending what sales goal is being derived for each state.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.